The Ghana National Fire Service is said to be facing serious financial challenges due to delayed release of funds <coughs> by the government. A report by Parliament's committee responsible for defence and the interior on the budgetary allocations to the Ministry of the Interior indicates that the Ghana National Fire Service owes 419,535 uh, for fuel and has an outstanding bill of 750,677 for the National Health Insurance Premium. It also stated that the service lacks the needed logistics to undertake its duties. Let's just look into the issue with uh, Public Relations Officer for uh, the Ghana National Fire Service, Prince Billy Anaglati, who's here with me in the studio. Billy, you're welcome. Thank you. Billy, let's get into your detail. We've always known that the, the service has had challenges, but uh, the financial challenges for me is new. Uh, 419,535.3 for fuel. Well, the figures, I will not be able to confirm the figures, but mm. I know that, yes, um, there are challenges uh, in terms of uh, fueling our fire engines and other things. That is not to say that uh, we are not able to fuel our tenders. Mm. We always have projections uh, quarterly where the regional commanders, the district commanders are given an allocation to manage and maintain the vehicles uh, in terms of firefighting. Mm. But there are certain, uh, you know, periods that our projection, uh, yeah. we exceed that level because of the number of fire outbreaks that uh, we perceived uh, within a certain period. Yeah. If I see that, you know, fighting fire determines using a lot of fuel uh, because the engine itself will be on. The pump that is, you know, expelling the water will also be using fuel. So if you exceed um, the certain projection that you made for a certain period, definitely you might need more uh, fuel to actually uh, maximize that level. But, 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 but the reports attribute this to the fact that government is not being forthcoming with uh, the necessary funds that is due to the service. Well, uh, I will not be able to, to tell exactly, but I know mm. that uh, there are times that there are delays in receiving funds mm. in, in you know, trying to manage these. It's not only fire service or other... How, how, no, let's, talk about, let's talk about the service, which okay. is your area. Okay. Uh, how often do you get your allocations from the government? Well, um, um, what, what, what I know for sure is that um, there are times that, you know, like the quarterly allocation that I'm, give, I'm mm, telling you, mm. there are few times that, yes, um, we receive this, you know, allocation, you know, into the, the period where we didn't, which quarter these uh, are to be, so, know, so let's look at this year alone. Did you get for all the quarters? Yes, for this year alone, I said yes, we have for so, all So why do you think the, this? this huge amount is coming from well what i'm saying is that even if you have for all the quarters that we are having it's mm. all about projection it's all about a certain amount given to manage all this but you agree with me that previous that's last year we faced a lot of firefighting challenges that we have to do uh, more than we we expected all these ones have gone into and then we have excesses of what we mm. now we have to go into pick for in firefighting that has mm. even pushed the, the service into arranging with mm. the with the you know fuel stations as to giving us on credit basis while so if you were, if you them. owe these fuel stations almost 420 uh, thousand Ghana cities okay. What is the relationship now? Well, it's called, yeah, the money looks so, so huge, we mm. all know, but this is distributed on various fuel stations in every community and district. Mm. So you, you, you might look at it, but it's not all fuel stations. Are all they always district. ready to give you fuel when you go to the, 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 the pumps? None of the, 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 the fuel station has turned any uh, fire engine down mm. that it will not give you because you have, oh, yes, they, they complain. There are several com complaints from the managers that, yes, uh, we are owing. Uh, but looking at the, the, the humanitarian mm. services that we render, nobody knows whose house will be on fire. Yes, they, they do the complain. But, but what you're telling me, you realize, yeah. sounds better than uh, this uh, little bit we are getting from the reports by the, the parliamentary committee. Yes, I, I, am not, I am not saying that the situation does not exist. 
we are talking internally of the arrangements that we made to mitigate. Uh, Is what, it not what, because of those arrangements you have those outstanding debts to pay? No, the, no. There are some of these arrangements that has not gone. In. It's an internal arrangement with the fuel station that I'm talking of. So if if we are expecting money from the government and there is a delay, what do we do so that we don't even pack our tenders? Mm. We don't expect that somebody call for emergency that we will say that we can't go because there is no fuel in the car. So internally, we are able to ensure that mm. you no. Know, Filling stations within our communities have that good relation with us. That anytime we get there, it could be in the night, it could be any time mm. that they give us. This is not an arrangement with the government to say that we are arranging with the filling station within the community. So the government might not know what arrangement we have done to mitigate this action even before the, the money comes to us. Very well. But it, it, it has not to do with just fuel. It also has to do with uh, the National Health Insurance Premium. And you owe... 750,677.5 Ghana cities. Yes, uh, that's correct. Um, it, uh, it, it was, you know, within a certain period that year, the, the National Health Insurance has even stopped, you know, renewing um, our health, uh, you know, insurance card because we have old. Um, and so recently that they have assumed and then they started renewing so our health insurance. So at what point was, were your cards taken from you? It wasn't taken from you. you I mean, basically, if you can't use it, yes, then it's well, more that or less it. So, been taken yes, so from you. If we are owing, you know, it is... It is what period? You said it was over a period. Um, yes, I, I should say for, for the past two years, um, you know... For the past two yes, years? Yes, we, we have not So when was it renewed? No, and I think uh, this year they started renewing, and uh, even as we are talking, uh, mm. last two weeks, uh, they, they came to our headquarters where they have continued. Is it because you, know, you have paid off this debt? Or some sort of arrangement uh, to be if, made yeah, for before, the service. Before the payment, there have been an arrangement, uh, an ongoing arrangement to ensure that they come to start it. You know, uh, it is so difficult when the, the firemen mm. do not have access to ready hospital you know, in terms of mm. you know medical situation because we are daily we are we are so facing in, in, in uh, that know, two years, challenges in terms of fire. How are you firefighters? Members of the service managing when it came to healthcare. That is a, another you know, difficult thing to explain because it, it turns out to, to be that every individual is supposed to financially uh, you know, try to ensure that health wise you, you are able to go to hospital and pay mm. for all. Expenses. So you were paying? Yeah, we were paying. Were you for, getting a back? Yeah, there are arrangements that when you pay, you present your, your receipt. But yeah, were you it, getting it? Yes, people. It's not everybody that have the time. It's a procedure, you know. Uh, it's not everybody, but those who are able to follow the procedure and to pay, where well, they, they, they are able to refund their money to them. Yeah. I see. And then finally, let's talk about a, a problem that was first highlighted here. The fact that you had serious challenges when it came to uh, logistics with the Ghana National Fire Service is one of those things that the report again uh, spoke about. Yes, if you see serious uh, challenges, um, that is what I am I'm getting. In you you don't yeah. have serious challenges? We have challenges. You I have agree, serious yes. challenges because if there is a fire and I call you and, 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 and the number goes off, there is no way that the service is able to track where that call came from. Yeah, you have those serious are challenges, challenges because yeah. Because sometimes you, you go out there and, and you don't have water to help us kill the blaze. Very good. Those are challenges that they are challenges that are with us. They are challenges that we are trying to see how we'll be able to resolve them with the core issue that we call. Even today, it was discussed at the management level that we will continue to liaise with the, the service provi providers. I'm talking in terms of communication service providers to ensure that they, they beef up the, the number of, you know, uh, short coded mm. telephones that we have so that people will be able to. But the other aspect which I am looking at if we are talking of serious one is the public trying to identify and to memorize those uh, numbers, emergency numbers. Still we are mm. having people calling and and I think it is a fire service number. All these are, are, you know, are blames that they are putting at the doorsteps of fire service that they call us in case of emergency. They do not come. With the water issue, we continue to have uh, you know, uh, meetings with the water company. It's long overdue, but then, but I think that now that they are able to even admit that they will be able Billy, to do do, do you have a well-equipped call center? 
Well, we have a, 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 a equip call center, but you are you are correct. Well, equip, I don't know. We have a equip call center, but I wouldn't say a well equip call center. I wouldn't say well equip. You wouldn't yeah. say it's yeah, well no, equipped, not at all. which is very important for the yeah, service. Yeah, it is. It is, but we are trying to. See and I'm hoping with this report would would start something for the service. That would be very good because I'm thinking that it is only the, the, the media mm. that will be able to assist the mm. service, that will be able to let the public even understand what the situation is. Mm. With their role that they should play and then to assist the fire service, to assist them, you know, then we would all be able to, con if you come to fire safety, it's a shared responsibility. You mm. can't take off the public, you can't take off the fire service, you can't take off all other, you know, stakeholders out of it. So we are hoping the media should play a very big role for us. And I'm also going to have to thank you. Uh, would would leave our conversation here for now. Thank I'm you. grateful you came to the program. Thank you. Prince Billy Anaglate is with the Ghana National Fire Service.